Can you share some tips about helping kids and families to deal with these feelings of fear and anxiousness and what are some practical things to do at home? Absolutely. And these are some things that I'm sure you've seen recommendations from different psychologists and psychiatrists and um, other groups out there on the internet. And so some of this is just going to be a summary of that, but cannot emphasize enough just one, sleeping, get a good night's sleep. It's amazing how um, that can help just calm our system. It really can. Nutrition, that we are still watching what we're eating, um, having healthy, healthy snacks, keeping hydrated. Um, if our body is physically exhausted and we're not getting in that right nutrition, it can really put us in, in stress mode. Um, having time to relax and time to unwind. Thinking of this even as kind of a brain fitness time. Um, talked about earlier, families are doing family prayers together. And it, sometimes you can't get to church, but maybe they're reading favorite stories. And reading things out loud, um, reading maybe prayers from a catechism or something that they would have at church can be very, very calming. And for us as parents, going to those things, maybe there's music that certain songs we know can be, just like we have comfort food, there's comfort music as well um, that can just be incredibly beneficial. Some people love classical music. Some people have different types of genres of music that can really be calming to them. Um, a lot of people doing exercise, whether it is where you are being very active, you're riding a bike or jumping rope and, or where you're doing, you're doing some yoga, you're doing um, a slower movement type of exercise. 